Yellowstone National Park is home to the largest active volcanic system in the world. It's also one of America's most popular national parks, with millions of visitors every year. If Yellowstone were to erupt, it would devastate the surrounding area and disrupt the whole planet. But what if there was a super volcano somewhere even more dangerous? If you thought Yellowstone was bad, just wait until you hear about Europe's Yellowstone, also known as the super volcano. You won't believe the damage this volcano could do if it erupts. It could literally wipe out an entire country. Italy's Campi Flegre is an active volcanic caldera located just 12 miles from Naples. It contains the third largest crater in the world. And if it erupts, it could destroy the nearby city of Naples, which has over 4 million residents. The nearby city of Caserta has another half a million people. So that's a lot of lives that could be at risk. Campi Flegre is sometimes called the super volcano because it could produce the largest eruption in recorded history. Now let's take a closer look at the volcano itself. The Campi Flegre is located near Naples, but it's actually in the Flegrian Fields. These are a series of volcanic craters in the shape of a caldera. It's located south of Mount Vesuvius, which you might recognize from its destruction of Pompeii. However, Campi Flegre is much larger than Mount Vesuvius or any other volcano in the region. This supervolcano is made up of overlapping calderas, meaning that it has multiple craters. This particular volcano consists of five craters, including the Pozzuoli Crater, which is the most active part of the supervolcano. In fact, it was the site of the most recent eruption of Campi Flegre. That happened back in 1984. This volcano isn't like Yellowstone, where there's a single large crater. Instead, it's made up of many smaller craters that are scattered around the region. While the Pozzuoli crater is the most active, there are several others that could erupt at any time. One is the Astroni crater, which last erupted in 1198. Another is the Trifogli crater, which last erupted in 1329. There's also the Kumai crater, which hasn't erupted in almost 3,000 years. And the most mysterious crater, which hasn't erupted in over 10,000 years. So how big is this volcano? It's pretty huge. The main crater is nearly six miles wide and one mile deep. Just imagine trying to fill that up with water. It would make one giant lake, and it would hold over 10 billion gallons of water. That's enough to fill up 10 Olympic-sized swimming pools. However, the size of the crater isn't what makes it so dangerous. After all, it's not the size that matters. If it were to erupt, it would emit an incredible amount of pyroclastic flows. Pyroclastic flows are mixtures of hot gas and solid matter that flow down the side of a volcano during an eruption. They can travel very fast, reaching speeds of up to 430 miles per hour. And they get really hot, too. During the 79 AD eruption of Mount Vesuvius, pyroclastic flows reach temperatures of nearly 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hot enough to burn a person all the way down to their bones. These pyroclastic flows would completely destroy everything in their path. Entire villages would be incinerated in an instant. Buildings would turn to ash, and people wouldn't stand a chance. But wait, it gets worse. If the eruption were powerful enough, it could send ash all the way to Europe. Parts of Italy, Switzerland, Germany, and even England could be covered in ash. Ash would blanket entire cities, causing massive power outages and disrupting air travel. So, when will this supervolcano erupt again? Well, no one knows for sure, but scientists have come up with some estimates. The last major eruption occurred in 1538, and since then, the volcano has been relatively quiet. However, scientists say that it's due for another major eruption. In fact, the Italian government has been monitoring the volcano closely in recent years, because it may be showing signs of unrest. For example, the ground around the crater has been bulging, and scientists have detected increased levels of carbon dioxide in the area. Now, you might be wondering why scientists seem so concerned about this volcano. After all, it's not like it's going to erupt tomorrow, right? Well, that's not exactly true. Scientists don't think that it will erupt anytime soon but they want to be prepared just in case. If it did erupt, the damage would be catastrophic. Not only would thousands of people be killed, but entire cities would be destroyed. The eruption would also have global implications, affecting air travel and agriculture. That's why the Italian government has been working on a plan to evacuate people from the surrounding area in the event of an eruption. They've set up shelters where people can go, and they're also planning to use loudspeakers and sirens to warn people to evacuate. 
But what would the world be like after the eruption? Well, that's hard to say. It would depend on the severity of the eruption. If it were a small one, life would probably go back to normal after a few weeks or months. But if it were a major eruption, it could change the world as we know it. Volcanic eruptions can have far-reaching effects on the environment. For example, they can cause climate change by releasing gases and particles into the atmosphere. These gases and particles can block sunlight and cool the planet. But volcanic eruptions can also warm the planet by releasing water vapor into the atmosphere. Water vapor is a powerful greenhouse gas, and it can trap heat in the lower atmosphere. In addition to climate change, volcanic eruptions can also cause other environmental problems. They can pollute the air and water, and they can also damage crops and livestock. All of these factors can lead to food shortages and famines. In fact, some scientists believe that a large volcanic eruption was responsible for the collapse of the Mayan civilization. If that's true, then it shows just how devastating a volcanic eruption can be. Now, you might be wondering what you can do to protect yourself in the event of a volcanic eruption. Of course, the best thing to do is to follow the advice of scientists and officials. If they tell you to evacuate, then you should do so immediately. Also, you should have a plan in place for what you'll do in the event of an emergency. This includes knowing where to go and what to pack. You should also have a supply of food and water stored up in case you need to shelter in place. Finally, you should stay informed about the volcano's activity. You can do this by following local news outlets or by signing up for alerts from the government. By taking these precautions, you can help ensure that you and your family stay safe in the event of a volcanic eruption. What about flying near a volcano? Is that safe? Flying near volcanoes is generally safe, but it can be risky. Volcanic eruptions can cause serious damage to aircraft. In fact, there have been several cases of planes being damaged or destroyed by volcanic eruptions. One of the most famous cases was in 1980 when Mount St. Helens erupted in Washington state. A pilot was flying near the volcano when it erupted, and he had to make an emergency landing. His plane had been damaged by volcanic debris. Another case occurred in 2010 when the pilot of a small plane flew through ash from an Icelandic volcano. The ash damaged the engine, and the plane had to make an emergency landing. In addition to volcanic eruptions, flying near volcanoes can also be dangerous because of the smoke and haze. Volcanoes emit sulfur dioxide and other gases that can form clouds and haze around the volcano. This can make it difficult for pilots to see and can even lead to disorientation. Despite these risks, flying near volcanoes is still relatively safe. Airplanes are designed to withstand the forces of volcanic eruptions, and pilots are trained to fly in hazardous conditions. In addition, airports near volcanoes have procedures in place for dealing with volcanic eruptions. For example, they may close the airport temporarily, or divert flights away from the airport. If you're flying near a volcano, it's important to be aware of the risks and to follow the instructions of air traffic control. Overall, Campi Flegre is an amazing natural wonder, but it's also a reminder of the power of nature. If it were to erupt, the damage would be catastrophic. But thankfully, scientists are working hard to monitor the volcano and keep people safe. Hopefully, it will remain dormant for many years to come. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and subscribe. We'd love to have you back for our next video.